no Jamaican big guns for the upcoming World Relays. It's the next gen athletes from Jamaica who will be repping for the island. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button to continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least one today here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep, good to go. Well, the truth is, it's not really surprising, but for the upcoming world relays, there are no big guns. There are no Shelly and Fraser Price, no Elaine Thompson Hurrah, no Sharika Jackson, none of the top tier one percenters in terms of Jamaican uh, sprinters or 400 meter runners, no and, and Antonio Watson, etc. etc. However, the next gen athletes have stepped. In the 4 by 100 meter relays of female, it will be the likes of Kemba Nelson who have stepped up. Alana Reed, the national record holder for the under 20 girls with her astounding 10.92. And on the male side, the likes of Akeem Blake who has been having a great 2024 season so far. The team, which of course is selected by the Jamaica Athletics Administration, Administrative Association, uh, has selected a pool of 31 athletes to represent Jamaica in the six events of the World Athletics Relays, which will take place in Nassau, Bahamas from May the 4th through to May the 5th. In the relay pool for the women's 4x100 meter relays is the likes of Kemba Nelson, Alan Arna Reed, Jadine Williams, Romaine Burchell, Michaela Moody, Natasha Morrison, and Yannick Daly. In the 4 by 400 meters and mixed relays, Stacey Ann Williams, Sharaki Young, Leah Anderson, Ashley Williams, Julian Broomfield, Geneve Russell, Toby Jenkins, and Ronisha McGregor. Of course, you all know Alana Reed as the fastest under 20 Jamaican female athlete and one of the fastest in the world all time for under 20 over the women's 100 meters for this astounding run that she did at the national arena in the finals of the women's class one girls 100 meters at the ISA boys and girls championships time she said at the right time she is in prime time shape and just to, to deliver Spencer, something special here again yes maurice less pressure can mean faster times indeed so alana reed the big favorite in lane five Oh, how we would have loved to have seen the clash with Serena Cole because it's one apiece between them at the moment. The set position. Off they go. It's a fabulous start by Alana Reed. Alexis James of Petersfield gives chase, but Alana Reed steps away from the pack, decimates the opposition. A stunning performance. 10.90. The flash time. Historic. Sumptuous. New chance record. New lifetime best, a 22-year-old record has been smashed in absolutely majestic terms. Alana Reed just ran her season's best in her second 100-meter race. This took place at the Tom Jones Memorial Invitational 2024 that happened over the weekend, where she ran 11.09, a massive step up from her time uh, at the Miramar Invitational. So she's improved and I should also say in her first 100 meters for the 2024 season, the remarkable Kemba Nelson, I believe ran 11.16, which is a solid season open at the very, very beginning of her season over the 100 meters. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening, get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. On the men's side, of course, there is the Akeem Blake, aforementioned Akeem Blake, as well as this youngster, Rashawn Clark. 
in the men's 4 by 100 meter relays, it will be the 100 meter finalist from the World Championships in Budapest last year, Raheem Ford, as well as Nigel Ellis, Brian Level, Adrian Golson, Odin McPherson, Akeem Blake, and Javoin Dunkley, all solid young sprinters. Akeem Blake, of course, being the creme de la creme of that group, but they're all extremely talented in the 4 by 400 meter re meters and mixed relays is Mc Malik James King, Rasheen McDonald, Zadron Barnes, Rashawn Clark, Demisha Gay, uh, Anthony Cox, uh, Karami Bartley, Asini Wilson, and Sean Bailey. A pretty strong uh, mix with a 4 by 400 meter relay team. But generally, I would say um, mostly youngsters. Not all, but mostly youngsters. Of course, you all remember Keem Blake running his personal best in 100 meters of 9.89 beating Christian Coleman last year. Off with a decent start was matched by Blake and Gracie Williams either side of him. Here comes Christian Coleman. Can he turn it on? Charleston with the United States strong as well. But look at that finish from Akeem Blake. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. No shocker here. I mean, I don't think any of us really anticipated any of the top tier athletes. And I'm not knocking the youngsters who are going there. They are all brilliant, very, very accomplished. Some of them much more than others. So it's great to see um, the likes of uh, Kemba Nelson and Alana Reed leading off the girls four by one, as well as Stacey Ann Williams, Shari Key Young, both extremely experienced, remarkable talents. Julian Brumfield like, also. Of course, in the men's four by 100 meter, uh, relays Akeem Blake, Raheem Ford, Cadron. These are all exceptional young talents, next gen superstars in terms of the men's sprints. And not to mention the four, uh, the, the four by 400 as well as the four by mix is a, a, an even deeper pool, I think, um, with the likes of Zadrian, um, Roshan, etc. But these are all next-gen athletes, and I'm kind of excited about that. Of course, we would have loved to have seen uh, Antonio Watson. We'd have loved to have seen um, Sharika or, or, or um, uh, Elaine or, or Shelly. But Shelly Ann, but as I said to you earlier this season, you are not going to see those athletes, not now, because it's... Olympics year people and it's all about winning the Olympics and no one wants anyone to see um, It's about playing poker and no one wants to see anyone to see it's not like last year when you know Sharika was running from way back and blah blah blah. None of that's gonna be happening this year Everyone is and it's not just Jamaica. You haven't really we haven't seen Shakari run. We haven't seen um, Marija C. Talu run. We haven't seen a lot of the, the top five. We've, we've seen, like, we've seen Gabby. We've seen, and she just opened her season. We've seen um, Dina Asher Smith. But amongst the other top 10, you just haven't seen those athletes. So I'm really not shocked. Also, I think it's a good idea because you're giving the youngsters room to breathe, to evolve, and to grow. And this is all a good, good look. So I'm excited to see this. Um, I think we're going to do very, very well. Not sure what the Americans are going to send. I kind of think, knowing the Americans, that we probably see Noah Lyles and Christian Coleman and some of these people because they take this seriously. The other thing I want to say um, very, very quickly regarding the, the whole World Relays is that Jamaica does have an is issue, and I believe Kevin Nelson raised this the other day, and I've mentioned it before in the last year and the year before. We do not rehearse relays we do not do relay training uh the americans do this part for the course the european nations do this part for the course this is something that their athletes do this is norm there is a there there are relay camps this is not an abnormality i think one of the reasons why we have not broken any records recently even when we had the fastest women on earth on the, those teams and why the americans have been able to beat us is simply because we do not have relay camps and if you want to be a completely dominant force outside of just the short sprints as well as the the um the the the, the, the field events we have to dominate in the four by one and the four by four and one of the challenges that we're having as a country is we do not have great baton passes but this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button notification, the like button remember your royals kings and queens bless up